Hello Ringlets, welcome to Tea and Biscuits with Rich. Uh, my tea's actually getting a little bit cold now, so... I've got my biscuits at the ready. Tesco Value Custard Creams. Other biscuits uh, are available, of course. Um... <laughs> so, let's get straight into the questions today. Obviously, I missed last week, so I'm very, very sorry about that. I've been uh, trying to get back on top of my schedule. Um, actually, the first thing I want to announce is, remember a few weeks ago I mentioned GamerCheese.com? Um, I have very exciting news. I'm going to possibly in include some uh, screenshots uh, of the article in this video, actually, because I wanted to share it with you. So um, so take a look at, uh, at this article for a second um, in the video. So yeah, GamerCheese.com, they're a fantastic website, uh, go and check them out. I'm going to be hopefully doing an interview with an indie game developer very, very soon. Um, I think the game is called Go To Hell, Dave, and I'm going to check the game out and um, we'll see what happens very soon, but I'll, I'll keep you all posted. Any content that I do for them has to remain on their site, uh, and any content I do for Green Ring Gaming is Green Ring Gaming's content. So again... It's going to mean that you will have to go on the website to check it out and check the videos out. But at the same time, it's going to help the popularity and growth of Green Ring Gaming, which can only be a good thing. So let's get straight into the questions. All right. So for my it's my only my second episode of this. So, you know, it's still a fairly new thing. But the noob stamp asks this week, what's your opinion on next gen consoles? Well, um. We are going to, for the sake of this, we're going to leave the Wii U out. I knew, I know that the Wii U is technically a next-gen console, but in terms of the next next-gen consoles, you know, the PS4 and the yeah, soon-to-be um, released or rather revealed Xbox, next Xbox. Um, my, my view so far is that we only have evidence and we only have proof of one of those consoles, and that is the PS4. Very, um, I was very impressed with what I saw. I like the social aspects of the console. Um, I like the fact that you can now download a game and kind of play it before it's finished. That's really cool. Um, yeah, graphics, great, but I love the social integration. A lot of people slate it um, and say that they don't need it, but um, moving on with the future, you know, how many people now are on Twitter? Um, that didn't used to be. I have a lot of friends in the UK that frowned upon Twitter and now they're all on it so again social integration is very important and PS4 have done that 21st of this month um, the Xbox 720 is going to be or the new Xbox is going to be revealed so hopefully I can do something on that I've got a few things coming up with the new job that I got which means I'm gonna um, not next week, the week after, I'm actually going to be at a hotel for a week. So I may end up doing some blogs that week, uh, or vlogs, rather, because I can't do gaming. But stay with me, because I'm not going away forever, you know. I'm just doing some training for a new job. Anyway, I uh, hope that answers your question. That My view is that um, everything has to move along. PC has been the best, in my opinion, but in terms of getting a disc... And coming home from work and sticking the disc in, the console still wins the war, I'm afraid, because there's nothing better than coming home from a, a, a long day at work and just sticking the disc in and going, here you go, let's play. It's so much quicker. So there we go. Next gen consoles, very looking forward to it. I hope that answers your question. Noob Stamp. On to my next question. From that Ormy bloke, one of my favourite uh, Twitter followers and uh, a big ringlet. What are some of the most uh, fun or enjoyable games you've ever played? Very good question. Um, in my opinion, the best and most fun enjoyable games are story-driven games. 
my one of my favorite games I've ever played has to be Skyrim. Um, PC, I have it for PC and I have it for Xbox 360. Um, I had it for the Xbox first, finished it, and PC because I love the modding. Um, there's mods, for instance, where there's a guy that ha you can have a crossbow and then it goes pew, 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 pew when you shoot the arrows and um, don't get me started on the naked female mods. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a fun game and um, Borderlands 2, Borderlands, I love the story, I love the guns. Um, you, you seem to have a different gun in that all the time. I love trying new things out and uh, what other games? I mean... Granted, I love the FIFA franchise. Um, I pick it up every year. I used to be a Pez fan back when it had Thierry Henry and um, John Terry on the front cover. Pez 2005. I was in 2006, 7, 8, and then I left 2009 and onwards. I've been a FIFA, diehard FIFA fan. So, yeah, that's some of the some of the more better games that I've played. So I hope that answers your question. Um... Plasma Mushroom has asked, do I have any pets? Um, I personally uh, live with my wife and we don't have any pets. However, uh, my family have a, a golden retriever at home. He's called Dylan. Um, I'll put a picture up in the video of him. Um, and we have a cat. We have a cat called Tiger. Um, and he is gorgeous, and my wife has a, a cat called Mitzi, and she's absolutely gorgeous, she's about 14, um, and yeah, I absolutely love animals as well, by the way, yeah, uh, pets at home, uh, in the family's houses, but, uh, we don't have any pets here, unfortunately. Okay, so, uh, Linda, one of my great friends from Sweden, um, she's a really lovely girl, um, shout out to you, Linda, uh, much respect, and, uh, she has asked me, um, if I could have, or what superpower would I have if I could have any one? That is an interesting one. Now, the superpower that I would have, I don't even have to think about it. It's flying. Um, I always feel like I used to be an eagle for some reason, like before in a previous life, and, um, just flying across the world, um, flying really interests me, to be honest, um, you know, you imagine how fast I could go as well, it wouldn't be a slow flying, it would be like, I can imagine, you could do anything if you could fly, I mean, you could get away with anything as well, because you could fly away, um, it's just amazing, and then imagine being able to look down on, on everyone, while flying, it's it's a no-brainer. Flying, it has to be flying. So that was a great question, Linda. Thanks very much. Um, Chris Marda, one of my true friends, Chris Marda. Check his channel out, by the way. Uh, Chris Marda Games, and I believe Chris Marda Nine. Uh, Chris M A D A. Check his channel out. He does some great retro games on Chris Marda Games. Just put that in all one word. You should be able to find his channel. Um, and he has asked. Why am I called Green Ring Gaming? I'm yawning a lot, so I better stop for some tea. I was waiting for this question to come up. Very good question. Now, when I started my YouTube channel back in December, December the 9th, a couple of days before, I was um, thinking about a name, and I was designing logos and pictures, and, you know, I was I was in bed, and I was just thinking... Thinking, thinking, and thinking, you know, what can I use? I don't want to use something that everyone has, and I want it to be professional. I didn't want it to be, you know, my name, Rich Hope 22 Pro Skills. I don't want a channel, with all due respect, that has, like, X's in the name, and I just wanted something a lot more professional, something, you know, like an IGN, like a GameSpot. Just one word, just three words, just no numbers in there. It had to be something like that. And then I was just thinking about, like, consoles and stuff, and I was thinking, uh, red ring, you know, when you get a red ring, I was like, yeah, broken consoles, Xbox red ring, that ain't good. And then I thought, well, what's the opposite, what's the opposite of red ring? What do you get when you don't have a red, hang on a second, you get a green ring. Green ring signifies life. Light bulb. 
And all of a sudden, it was Green Ring Gaming from day one. I was like, Green Ring. I was worried at first that people would think that it was a um, Xbox-only channel, which it is not. Um, however, I don't have a PS3, but I use PC. And I am planning on getting the new PS4. So, um, so yeah, Green Ring Gaming um, from, from that day forward, um, because... It signifies life, life of gaming. It's a green ring. Green means go, red means stop. All of those things put together. Green ring gaming, it just it just kind of fits. So I hope that answers your question, Chris. Good stuff. Um, another question from my good buddy, Sam Bolton. Shout out to you and Kaylee and the little one. Oh, two little ones because she's got a baby on the way. Yeah. Anyway, Sam Bolton said that if you were a biscuit inventor, what would you name your biscuit? Um, probably a rich tea biscuit, but that's already been invented, hasn't it? So, um, let's see. Rella biscuit, because um, I normally go by this alias, like a Rella cat. Uh, I'll spell it for you. Um, the Rella Biscuit, um, it'd be a green biscuit, but, um, not like mouldy green. A lot of E numbers, perhaps, in there. Um, Green Ring, the Green Ring Biscuit? I don't know, um, that would be great, it could have a hole in the middle. Carl Gosling, now I just want to say quickly, first of all, uh, Carl Gosling runs a very successful uh, clan called Regiment 2020. 2020. Shout out goes to all the Regiment 2020 boys. They play games like Crisis 3, Max Payne 3. They're a great group. Um, Carl Gosling, I believe, has um, his own channel called Grey Fox. Um, and yeah, he's a, he's an absolutely great guy, guy and he's a, the founder of the Regiment 2020. They have a Facebook group as well. Uh, so it'd be great if you could um, write something underneath this video, Carl, so people can, um, can follow you. But anyway, Carl asks, um, what game has been your personal highlight of 2013? That is very easy for me to answer. Um, I have played and completed Bioshock Infinite. That game, the story in that game is incredible. If you haven't played it or if you haven't finished it, go ahead and finish it and um, it'll really open your eyes up. That has been the ultimate highlight for me. Shout out to the What's Up 62 just because he recently messaged me and asked me for a shout out and I thought it'd be nice. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, wrapping the video up there. Um, um, my schedule is going to be more full time from now on. Again, Mondays, I'm thinking, uh, I'm doing Minecraft, FIFA, and Call of Duty on Mondays. I'm thinking about adding WWE back to that uh, story mode, like a Let's Play type thing. Tuesdays is um, Let's Take a Look. Um, check out my Let's Take a Look of um, Injustice Cause Among Us. I did it this week. Uh, Wednesdays is Iconic Gaming. I went and played GoldenEye for you guys, so check that out as well. There should be a link at the end of this video. Um, Thursdays, um, it was supposed to be World's Worst Games, but I've decided to change that now and do Let's Play Something Different again. And uh, I'm about to, after this video, do a recording of Hotline Miami, so that'll be something interesting for you guys to look at. Uh, Fridays is live stream day, so go to twitch.tv forward slash greenwinggaming if you want to see um, some of my live stream fun, um, and I put all the um, local recordings up for you um, a little bit later after the live stream. Um, obviously today, Saturday, um, is Tea and Biscuits to be Rich, and back, I obviously didn't do it that last week, but this week in gaming is on Sundays, so be sure to check that out. Um, leave a like on this video, leave a like on all my videos if you can, um, comment, and subscribe to my channel, help me, help me grow it. Um, I'm certainly losing a lot of subscribers lately and uh, I don't know why, but what can I say? So yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Perhaps I can make something more entertaining next week. I haven't really put a lot of planning into this, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, please leave your comments and questions underneath this video for next week. That would really be helpful because um, I write them in my notepad 
and um, basically build them up for the week. So take care, guys. Have fun.